Hey y'all, it's me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are here for the first time, jazz hands, extra jazz hands. Thank you for joining me for yet another Trunk Club. <laughs> so um, if you are not familiar, Trunk Club is another clothing subscription service. It is not just for plus sizes. It goes all the way through the spectrum up to my size. I think I am the largest size that they cater to, which is a 26, 28. Now, Trunk Club is a little different from other subscription services because you get a preview of your trunk where you can go through and veto items that you just don't like at all or you know won't work or you already have something similar to or whatever reason and then your stylist will um, replace those items with things that you don't get to see <laughs> and the trunk gets sent to you. Also, another big difference is that you actually have a relationship with your stylist and you can message them at any time and they will actually message you back. <laughs> Which is pretty cool because I feel like a lot of the other services, like I leave feedback and like who knows, are they really reading this? I have no idea. Um, but with Trunk Club, I know that um, my stylist, Catherine, uh, gets my message and she always responds back and so I really feel like seen and heard by her which is awesome. Um, so Trunk Club sends you 12 items at a time which is quite a lot so I will try to get through them very quickly. It does take a long time um, because it is 12 things and I do like to talk to you about the details of the piece, the fit of the piece, etc. So um, today I have um, some accessories, I have two pairs of shoes, I have a purse, and I have some earrings, so mixing it up a little bit, and the inspiration that I gave her was just spring. I said, it's already starting to warm up here, not that it ever got that cold, um, and so I'm feeling springy, please send me some spring-like items um, to, help, to help kind of ease me into spring, and so um, it's not like full-on like pastel Easter egg. Um, you know, tank top land, but it is stuff that kind of transitions the wardrobe away from winter and towards the spring um, warmth and flowers and like whatever. I mean, you know what spring is, whatever, okay? Um, so I think that's all the details. Oh, the styling fee is $25, so it's $5 more than like Stitch, Fi Stitch Fix and Dia and & Co and other similar services, Stylogic. Um, but I think it's totally worth it. And then that $25 does come off of the price of any purchase that you make. Um, Trunk Club does not offer a whole trunk discount. Um, I've never wanted to keep a whole trunk and also it's 12 pieces and it's Nordstrom. So that would be crazy expensive, which is probably why they don't do, <laughs> do that. Um, yes, let's get going. Let's, let's get started. We're starting with these huge earrings, y'all. Look. <laughs> they look crazy on me. I think if you had a longer neck than me, these wouldn't, um, these would sit better. Let's see, so if I, no, they still turn. Anyway, these look crazy on me. Um, some people can pull off really big earrings and they look natural and like normal and great. Uh, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think these are working for me. I think they look cool. I like the look of them. If they were just on a smaller scale, um, I think they would work better for me. I don't have a very long neck at all and I do have, you know, a lot of chin and so it's kind of hitting there and it's making it turn weird and it's sitting really low because I have a short neck. Anyway. These are cool, these are from Bobble Bar, but um, clearly not. they're not for me. But fun! And next, showing you this purse. This is a raffia woven clutch. It has little fringes. Um, this is so summer, I love it. Inside it's got a little pocket. It's lined in yellow, which is like, you know, up my alley, a little clutch. You can wear it like this, or you can just hold it. It is um, really soft and a little flimsy, which can be frustrating to me 
Um, however, because of the size, it's not too big. So I think once I like put my wallet in there, which is a long wallet, it would kind of stabilize it. But I do in general dislike fabric clutches that like bend and move because they just like feel unstable in my hand. I don't know. I'm not a huge clutch person, but this is very cute. It's so like perfect for summer. You know, last year it was all about the big like circle raffia purses that were big shoulder bags. Anyway, and so I'm seeing a lot of stuff like this this year, so maybe this is like the version this year. But so, very cute. I do like it. I am interested. We'll see how I like the clothes, because I'd rather have clothes than this. I do have a lot of purses, and I do tend to wear like the same two purses all the time. <laughs> so, um, but hey, if I don't like anything else, I will definitely keep this purse because it's so cute. Okay, clothes. Okay. So there's only one dress in this trunk, and I am sad to say that it does not fit. Um, it's really bright and fun, super bright yellow with white polka dots. It's a chiffon non-stretch. Um, I was covering up this, so clearly you would want to wear a bra that doesn't come up so high. Um, all right, so the top is actually fine. This fits fine. Um, from here down, it's tight and it's non-stretch. Uh, you guys <laughs> can totally see my underwear. I'm not wearing bike shorts today, um, but so there's a white chiffon slip underneath because this yellow material is uh, translucent. And uh, it's tight, It bare I pulled it down to here, uh, as you can see. So you can see I'm wearing black underwear. <laughs> So you can see where it stops. It wouldn't go any farther. And the yellow is actually a little looser than that, which is nice, but it's still too tight for me to wear, even while standing, which you all know is my most compact state. When I sit, I'm not even gonna attempt to sit in this because I think if I tried, I would rip the seams or something. <laughs> anyway, this is from Leith. It's in a 4X. It's very pretty. If this fit me, I would be really into it. It's very nice, um, super spring, summer. I love these sleeves. It feels, you know, flowy and pretty. It does have a slit, where is it? Here in the leg. Um, yes, it just like completely <laughs> does not fit me. Well, hey, it went on my body, so it, it could be a worse fit, I suppose. Anyway, um, it doesn't work for me, but it could work for you. I would say if you're a size 24, this would be for you, because um, even if um, you were a solid 26, it's going to be pretty still close to the body. So maybe if you're a 26 that doesn't expand when you sit, this would work for you, but I would say to be safe, um, that a 24 would um, be the best fit for this dress. Anyway, it's very pretty. I like it. I'm bummed. That oh, look, look, look. I forgot to show you. Well, my big bralette is ruining it, but you can see the cutout. So I don't know what kind of bra you would wear with this, with that big ass cutout in the back. <laughs> um, maybe you wear one of those that's just like, two cups that like stick to you. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, enough with this dress. It's cute. I recommend it if you are a size that it would fit. Um, it certainly does not fit true to size, I guess is what I'm saying. But yeah. Bummer. I'm here in my bra because <laughs> I want to show you these pants. Oh, who are they by? They're from BP and a size 4X. They've got little cuffs at the bottom. They're linen. They've got little pull tabbies on the side. So if these were uh, loose in the waist, you could pull them. Also, it's a cute detail. These are, however, not loose in the waist for me. Um, they do have nice deep pockets here. They are a button fly. These barely go on my body. And I'm bummed because they're very cute. Like if they had just put in like an elastic panel in the back so that there was some stretch, well, they still wouldn't be good for me, but they would be closer because um, they're on my body. But if I were to sit, I would like burst out of them. Um, but they're so cute. They're in the, you know, trendy olive green color. 
Um, I love the look. The length is actually okay for me, which is amazing. Um, here's from the side. If you, if I were only going to wear these standing <laughs> and not having to like bend over or anything, <laughs> I would keep them because I think they're really cute. I think that um, the fit in the legs is really good. The length is good. I love the material. It's natural fibers. It feels really good. Um, but yeah, like they just, there's no way. <laughs> I barely got them on anyway. So, but if you're looking for pants like this, um, I would say to size up. Um, well, I'm biggest here. So if you're more proportionate in your size, you probably don't have to size up. If you carry all your weight or a lot of your weight in your belly, then you're going to want to size up for these pants, which kind of ruins it for those of us that are already at the top of the sizing. Um, but hey, if you're smaller, go for it. These are super nice pants. I really like them. Um, yes, I wish that they fit better. Okay. All right. So here's some pants that do fit me. These are also from BP in a size 4X. They are super soft. Like, what is this material? Maybe, I don't know what this material is. Anyway, it's stretchy. It feels like a cotton blend, maybe. Um, because it does feel very cottony, but I know that with this stretch, it can't be all cotton. Um, has two pockets that are an okay size. A thick, like wide elastic waistband with a drawstring that I have just like super loosely tied. Anyway, like I could tie this more. Um, and the sizing is very generous. Here we go. This is the 4X. Look how much room I have in here. Like they're fitting me nice and loose, which is great. Good fit through the leg. So here's the bottom. They've got a cuff, but the cuff is not super tight. So um, if that's ever a concern for you, then these would be good pants for you if it bothers you to have a really tight cuff, because these are like not really at all. Now, if you like a really tight cuff, know that the cuff at the bottom is like kind of big. Um, it doesn't bother me, because I actually don't love a tight cuff. Um, but if you do, good thing to know. Um, no pockets in the back. Here's what they look like from the side. In the back. So I super love these. I don't have anything like them. I could um, lounge in these. I could wear them for yoga, um, but also like not feel like I can't leave the house in them. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I like them a lot. I'm gonna throw on, there's a t-shirt that looks cute with it, I think. Well, I think it's gonna look cute with it. I'm gonna throw it on. I look like I'm wearing like a pajama set now. Um, so this is also from BP. It's just a cute like um, short boxy t-shirt. It does have a pocket here. And I would just like to point out that the stripes line up on the pocket and the shirt, which, you know, BP is like their in-house company. Um, it started as juniors. It's always like the lowest priced of items. And so um, I would expect them to not take the care to match the stripes, but they did. And I appreciate it. Okay, so it's just like a soft, cute t-shirt. It's a crew neck, but the neck is not super tight. I actually really like this a lot. Um, I don't know that I would wear this unless I was like at home. It, I feel like together they look like pajamas, but apart they can work as real clothes um, because they are real clothes. <laughs> um, but I could see this with jeans. I could see it tucked into um, a skirt or worn, you know, like, outside of a skirt. Um, oh, with my black, like, stretchy bodycon ruched up the side pencil skirt. I think this would look really cute because that's tight and then this could be loose. Um, I actually wish it was, like, just a little shorter, I think, um, but it's okay. Anyway, super comfortable. I really like this. As for sizing, it's very generously sized. So if you were a 5X, you could totally wear this. It's not going to be as loose on you. I mean, obviously, um, but you could totally wear it and it would look more, it would definitely be more cropped and it would look more just like a regular t-shirt instead of like an oversized t-shirt. So, ooh, maybe I'll, I might request this in the next size down because then it would be shorter because I, oh, but I like the oversized. I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, 
I like both of these pieces a lot. Like, I kind of want to go lay on the couch now because I'm in pajama mode. Um, okay, more tops. Can you see me? Am I camouflaged? <laughs> oh my god, dad, dad jokes. Okay, so I have to say, I've never owned a camo item of clothing. I'm just going to keep trying these tops on with these pants because there's no other bottoms. And I don't have my bike shorts on today. Um, okay, so this is from Caslon in a size 4X. The quality feels really nice. Um, it's long sleeve, but it's thin. So that's like kind of the transition piece. Um, I mean, the sleeves are a little long on me. Not surprising because it's me, but you know, I don't love long sleeves in general. And so they always end up like this, which I'm just gonna go ahead and do now. Um, there's a lot of room in the sleeve and it's a little stretchy. So this is not super crazy stretchy. So um, keep that in mind if you like this, that it's not like insanely stretchy, but it is definitely stretchy. Um, it has a little shirt tail hem. It's a nice size. I would say this is um, true to size 4X fitting like a 28. Um, because my belly has a lot of room in it. It's not even like pulled tight on it at all. It does have a pocket right here. Um, I'm not a camo person, but I actually really like this camo. I'm going to come show you close up. It's kind of muted, which I appreciate. Um, I don't know. Am I going to own a camo item? <laughs> I never would have thought it, but I really like this shirt. I don't know. Anyway, I like it. I'm surprised, but I like it. I don't know, do you guys wear camo clothes? <laughs> I never got into that, even though camo was super popular when I was younger. Um, and like everybody wore camo and then there was like different colors of camo. I don't know, it was never my thing. But I really like this shirt and so I'm putting it in the maybe pile for sure. Cute, okay. I've got a couple more tops, ooh, and a jacket. Yes. Y'all, y'all, look at this shirt. Look at this shirt, it's so cute. I, let me tell you why I like this. It has a lot of things going for it. Number one, sleeveless. Number two, polka dots. Number three, front detailing here. We've got these guys, we've got this pretty um, piping at the yoke, and we've got pin tucks. You guys, this is like my checklist of details, <laughs> details that I like. Um, this is from, did I say this is from Caslon in a size 4X? It's not stretchy, but it is um, generously cut through the hips and butt, so that's nice. I did uh, squat down in it, and I could still wear it. It definitely has room for my belly. And while it's not a stretchy material, you know how some wovens have a little bit of give. This has a little bit of give. Um, so here's from the side. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with these pants. <laughs> uh, this would look great with jeans. I could tuck this into like a little skirt. Um, I could wear this with shorts. Like, I feel like I could dress this up or down. I really like it, if you can't tell. Um, it is, like, maybe a scotch big through here, but that is, you know, the price that I pay, as always, <laughs> for having room here. But honestly, I don't think it really affects the fit that much. Like, if it were tighter here, that would be nice, but it's not even, like, a huge gaping armhole, so I think it's fine. Like, I would wear it like this. I wouldn't pay to get this altered. You know, I'm a little selective with what I pay to get altered because I'm a cheapskate. Um, but certain things are worth paying to get altered. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say. It's so cute. I like it a lot. Um, definitely dress it up or down. I think this would transition to spring and to summer. And then in the winter, you could layer a long sleeve thing under it. Um, and like transition it if you just really wanted to. Um, but it is pretty thin. I don't know y'all. I don't know what else to say. It's too, it's, it's really cute. I'm like yelling because I like, y'all know when I start yelling <laughs> that I really like something. So, okay. All right. Yes. Oh, let's try the jacket on. 
I'm just going to grab it. I'm not going to cut. So this is from BP. It's an olive green jacket. Let's see. It's in a 4X. It's got buttons at the cuffs. It's cropped. Oh, it's a little big. Yeah, there's a lot of overlap here. I'm just going to turn and look in the mirror. Oh my god, this outfit is bananas. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> it actually looks okay with this shirt. It's the pants that <laughs> throw it off. So yeah, um, here's from the side. You can see there's just a lot of room in it. And I think that... Um, ooh, I like these two big pockets. I wish that it had... Uh, hand pockets because I always want to do this you know but it has these two big patch pockets here it's really nice like it's nicely finished um, especially you know with BP I'm always like well it's their cheaper brand but um, this jacket is really nice and I love this olive color like I said it's very trendy right now I don't have anything like this but I also don't need a lot of jackets and I just kept a denim jacket from my last Dia & Co box which I have been wearing quite a bit in case you were wondering um, and I did sell the other Torrid jacket. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is I would like to keep it, but I would get it in a 3X instead of the 4 because it's just too big. Um, but do I really need this? Especially since we're transitioning to the warmer time of the year. No. See, this is a spring jacket if you live somewhere with like real spring, but Houston goes like straight to summer. So if this fit on my shoulder properly, <laughs> the sleeve is actually the right length. Anyway, y'all buy this jacket and take pictures in it and show me because I don't think I am gonna keep this even though I want to. I don't need more jackets. I don't wear jackets that much. Um, and I live in Houston, but it's so cute and it's really nice. Maybe if I see it on clearance later, I'll pick it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I got to move on. Anyway, buy this jacket. It's cute. Last top is this button-up shirt. It's really soft. Um, it's really nice material. So it has three buttons at the cuff here. And of course, it's like super long on me. So let's just... I roll that up. <laughs> um, if you know, if you've been with me, you know that I really struggle with button down shirts um, because of my belly. If they fit here, then they're not going to fit here. So I will say when standing, it fits like it's big through here, but it fits here, which is nice. But if I squat down, the buttons are gaping. So that's a bummer, but I'm not surprised. But I mean, this is like coming pretty close, like closer than a lot of button down shirts. It's really nice if you're a shirt wearer of this type. Oh my God, what a sentence. If you wear these kinds of shirts, this is really nice. It's from Treasure and Bond in a size 4X. Y'all, this material feels so nice. The finishing on it is really nice. Um, it's a, I mean, this is a quality shirt. I really like it a lot. The um, striping on here is in a dark blue, but it's not solid. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. So it's not like solid, solid, which I really like. It gives it a little character. Um, it's kind of, it looks kind of like a sketch, you know? Anyway, bummer, really close. You know, if these slits were higher, this is what usually happens to me is if the slits were higher, then I would be able to sit and it would be a problem. Now, I guess I could cut the slits higher and sew that up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> anyway, this is a really nice shirt. Also, I just don't wear shirts like this that often. Um, and so as you may or may not know, I'm really trying to be very critical with my purchases. Um, my 2019 goal for the year is a super closet purge. So if I'm keeping items there, I'm only keeping items that like I really, really like and that I think I'm going to wear. And so um, while I might wear this a few times, I don't know how often I would really wear it, um, especially going into a season where I don't want sleeves. Um, 
So realistically, it would be a long time before I wore this. So I'm gonna pass on this, but it's really nice. I do like it a lot. If, it's, if this were the beginning of winter, I would seriously consider keeping this shirt. Let me say that. Okay, moving on. Why am I whispering? We have to, I, I have two pairs of shoes that I want to show you. Um, and the first ones, I'm not going to show you on the foot because um, they're really tight on me. But y'all, she sent me jellies, <laughs> which I am super excited about or was excited about. Um, however, they run really small. This is a size 10 and um, my foot, my toes were like, at the end and at the end here, or my heels were, anyway. Oh my God, why can't I talk today? You know what I'm trying to say. My feet completely filled these shoes and the width on these was a little tight. Um, but really for me, as fun as they were to try on and the idea of them is fun, there's absolutely no arch support. And if you see on the bottom, um, it's got these like nubs, which, I think for me, I would start to feel through the sole and would be really uncomfortable. My feet are very sensitive. I have, I have very specific kinds of shoes that I can wear easily. <laughs> um, however, if your feet are less fussy babies, um, these are very nice jellies. They seem well made. <laughs> um, they're from Jeffrey Campbell. Um, they say Havana last. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but they're from Jeffrey Campbell. I got them in the size 10. I would say that these run a little small. So um, especially if you are like kind of towards the larger end of your shoe size, I would size up. I don't know if they come in half sizes. I'm guessing not. Shoes like this uh, tend to not come in half sizes. Um, my battery is going to die very soon. Okay, the next pair of shoes are from Naturalizer. And they are these cute little sneakers and they zip up the top. These are in gray wool. I really like these. These are in a wide width. They are size nine and a half wide and these fit my foot. And y'all know, well maybe you know, um, my feet are very difficult. This does have arch support. This does have padding. Um, I am really considering keeping these shoes. Show you both angles. Um, I don't know. Also, they're on sale. <laughs> I did happen to try these on earlier because I was excited when they came and I looked on the website and these are on sale. Um, so they're even cheaper than what the price list is going to say. My concern is that they're going to be hot because they're lined in leather and they're also wool. Um, so I don't know if they're like seasonally appropriate, but the fact that they fit my feet is amazing and wonderful and I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is a big change. Uh, my uh, camera battery died and so <laughs> I'm on my webcam and you can really tell the difference can't you <laughs> all right so I have the price list um, let's look at it so 12 items $25 styling fee credited towards purchase so the jelly sandals from Jeffrey Campbell in a size 10 are $37.95 the cropped joggers from BP in a size 4x um, $39 the boxy stripe tee from BP, the pink stripes, um, is 25. The crop military jacket from BP is 69. So that's like, I think maybe slightly higher for BP, which maybe is why the quality <clears throat> is a little nicer. Um, linen blend button fly pants from BP, 55. We have a lot of BP items today. I don't mind, I love BP stuff. Um, woven raffia clutch from Nordstrom, $49. Sleeveless pleat front top from Caslon, $49. Stripe woven shirt from Treasure and Bond, uh, $69. The camo print top from Caslon, $49. The flutter sleeve midi dress from Leith, which is L-E-I-T-H, uh, $69. The cyan, uh, C-Y-A-N, Slip on sneaker from Naturalizer um, is on sale for $69.99. It was originally $89.99. And the feather fringe drop earrings from Bobble Bar are $48. Um, that's a lot for those earrings. Um, they're right here. 
they're so big. I don't know if you noticed before or if you can even see on this webcam, but it's ombre. It goes from white to a really light, light pink. Um, I don't think you can tell. Maybe in the other footage you can. Um, here's a close-up since we're here. Uh, the V is hammered, so that looks nice. Adds a little detail. Um, I don't know about $48 for these. Man, if these were just like half the size that they are, just like take this and shrink it down, I would be into it, but not for $50. Okay, um, so the things that I'm really interested in and like are the crop joggers, the pink striped tee, the jacket, if I exchange it for a 3X instead of a 4, the Caslon um, polka dot top, um, the camo top, surprisingly, and the naturalizer, gray zip up sneakers um what should i keep oh my gosh um i'm definitely going to keep the joggers because they're very comfortable i like them i love how bright they are i don't have anything like that um so definitely going to keep the crop joggers from bp um, i'm getting them in the size 4x um i'm thinking about this pink striped t-shirt but i I think I might go for this guy instead. So this is $50. So um, just being a responsible adult, I don't think I should get both the pink striped tee, even though it's only $25. I think I should, um, oh, and then there's the shoes. Oh no. Y'all, I thought I had a decision made. The shoes. Um, am I going to wear those shoes? Am I going to wear those shoes? know the answer oh my gosh what do I do <gasps> it's so hard to tell the reason I kind of waffle back and forth is because it's really hard to tell with me if I'm actually gonna wear shoes when I buy them because my feet are so bitchy <laughs> I just like shoes for me is such like a, a difficult thing because they're problematic. I have really wide feet. I have really high instep and high arches. And also, um, I have less padding between my metatarsal bones and the sole of my foot. <clears throat> so normal people have like, I don't know, some padding and I have this much padding. It's not good. Um, I don't know if that, So my feet are just really problematic and um, I have very wide feet, I have a really high instep and I have really high arches and then on the soles of my feet um, I need a lot of padding because on especially my right foot but on both feet um, the amount of padding between your metatarsals and the skin of your foot uh, that normal people have I have like one third of that amount and I've been like that forever. Um, and a podiatrist once told me um, you know it's not because you're fat you know even if you were a hundred pounds you would still have this problem it would still cause you pain so um, I have to be careful with shoes so I don't know but they were pretty you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna try these shoes and I'm gonna take a risk and if I don't wear them then I don't wear them and I will give them away to someone um, who hopefully will wear them so I'm going to keep the crop joggers for sure because I like them and these shoes and I'm gonna check and see if I have any credit, and then I might keep this, but maybe not, we'll see. Um, I'm waffling on that, so, okay. But for sure, the joggers and the shoes. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, because as much as I love this sh shirt, uh, I need, if these shoes work out and are comfortable and I can wear them a lot, that's worth way more to me than just another cute top, um, so. That is how I made my decision. That might have been boring to you, um, but I know a lot of people like to hear like, you know, the decision making process, like why did I keep this or why did I keep this? I also really like to hear that with other people. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Tell me in the comments below, what did you like from this trunk? What did you absolutely think was horrible? Um, let's see, what would you have kept like personally for you and what do you think I should have kept because I always find that very interesting um, people's per perspectives about what looks best on me versus what I think looks best on me um, if you want to try trunk club there's a link down below in the description box it is a referral link so if you do use that link then I will get some credit 
uh, with them if you get a trunk and then purchase something. Um, so you are welcome to not use that link, but if you want to, I would appreciate it because I don't have a lot of money. And honestly, I'm only able to um, make these videos and keep clothes because people do use that link. Um, so yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching to the end. Um, yeah, I hope that you're having a good day. I hope that you are feeling loved and supported. And whether or not you are feeling loved or supported, know that I'm sending that to you. Lots of good energy, lots of love coming from me. Thank you for being here, for being part of this community. Um, I really appreciate your presence. And I guess that's it. I will see you next time. Bye.